Let's kind of start off with Amazon. Uh, obviously, the guidance they gave for the upcoming fourth quarter uh, was at least, uh, you know, within the semblance of the estimate in terms of the ranges they gave. I think the big number that stands out for me is the AWS number. Uh, you mentioned that they came up a little bit shy. I think the street was at 27.5 billion. I think you said 27.45 billion. Uh, that would represent approximately 18 to 19 percent growth rate. And, you know, if we go back and we look at some of the other companies that are in that same space, for example, Microsoft, Azure, uh, which is their equivalent uh, competitor to AWS, uh, they were up 35%. And if we look at uh, GCP, which is Alphabet, they were up about 35% also. So uh, kind of interesting to kind of compare these growth rates between, let's say, Microsoft, Azure at 34, 35 percent and uh, that of AWS, uh, which uh, was a, a little bit under what the street was looking for. Yeah, absolutely. And also fourth quarter operating income, it's quite the range that Amazon is giving between somewhere between $16 billion and $20 billion. Does that indicate that Amazon has no clarity and that maybe even it's the election that Amazon is, 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 is you know, hedging for? I mean, Amazon has a lot of moving parts. I mean, their two core businesses that really drive their growth is the AWS, which we just talked about, and then, of course, their online business. They have a burgeoning advertising business uh, that uh, is doing very well. It's growing 19, 20 percent. Um, their retail core business, which is basically selling things online, is growing at about 9 percent. So, um, you know, there might be some... Uh, you know, unknowns in regards to going into this upcoming uh, fourth quarter. We know they've been getting a lot of competition from Walmart uh, in that same space. Uh, so, yeah, I think there's just some moving parts. You're not quite sure how strong the Christmas season's going to be. You know, just a lot of moving things out there. But uh, those are the two things that really drive Amazon in terms of growth.